Hi everyone, my name is Motia Williams. I am a registered nurse as well as the inventor of the Nista Waterproof Transparent Barrier. The Nista Barrier may be used to completely cover and protect pick lines, surgical incisions, and dialysis catheters from water while a patient bathes or showers. This is Tyler. He is going to play my patient. As you can see here, I have a couple of supplies that I'm going to use for the actual demonstration. I have a butterfly needle. I actually cut the needle from the tubing and tape two of the tubings together. And this is going to act as the pick line. All right. And I have a four by four dressing. This is actually going to be used as a tachyderm dressing. And then we have the Nista barrier. This is the actual size. Okay. All right. And then I have two paper napkins. One is wet. So if the napkin gets wet while being covered by the Nisa, this is how it's going to look. Okay. I'm actually going to put a dry one underneath the actual Nista barrier, just to show you guys if it's going to get wet or not. I applied the 4x4 that is acting as the tachyderm dressing that's used to cover the actual insertion site. Here is the dry paper towel. I put tape on the back so I can stick it up here on here to show you guys that is dry. All right, so if you have a pick line and you have extension tubing, um, this is what you need to do. You need to coil the tubing onto the primary dressing. That way the Nista will completely cover the pick line itself and the existing dressing. So I'm just taping this here so that it covers it. All right, so same instance, this is your pick line. You have your primary dressing. You have the extension tubing coiled onto the primary dressing. Now you're gonna get the Nista barrier. And I wanna show you guys this part here. As you can see up here, this is the actual non-adhesive cover tab. If you can see that. You need to locate this before you apply the bandage because this is going to be the last step. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the liners off. Okay. As you can see, there's an adhesive border and I'm just going to touch the center because the center is non-adhesive. Before you actually apply the, the Nista Barrier, you need to make sure that the actual non-adhesive area non-adhesive area is will fit your actual bandage. So the width is six and one fourth, and the length is six and a half, okay? So here it is, you're gonna take it here. All right, hold your arm out, straighten it up, oh yeah, all right? So you are going to completely cover the bandage. All right, so you're gonna put this here. All right, and then you're gonna bring this down so it covers it. Okay, and we're gonna bring this down here. And we're gonna bring this down here. All right, and what you wanna do is go around the adhesive border and just press it so it, there is a complete seal.
okay and here is the tab I was telling you was going to be the last step you're going to take it see the berry is there all right you're going to remove this Take it off. All right, and just make sure the border is down. The adhesive border is down. Okay. okay. I wanted to zoom in to show you guys the actual thing that you bring on around so you can see. See, there's no wrinkles on the adhesive uh, border. See all of that? Just make sure before you get in the shower, in the shower you smooth out all of these um, visible wrinkles. Okay, now he's gonna get in the shower. As you can see, he's saturating it. And now he's gonna wash it. to dry it off. Alright, make sure it is dried off before you guys remove the bandage. And as you can see, look, it's still dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it off to show you guys that it is actually still dry. Okay. Alright, so you're going to just pull it from the edge here. It's still dry. There's no dark areas. Okay. 